Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video. So in the previous video we had started with the module 4 of network analysis that is uh, Laplace transform and its uh, application part. Okay. So the Laplace transform, the introduction and the with definition and how it is to converted from time domain to frequency domain, the formula, how it is related and we have seen with some of the examples and one table with some of the functions and its Laplace transform, all of them we have discussed in that previous video, you can check it out. Okay, that is very important just to introduce the concept of Laplace transform, I've done it. Okay, so now uh, from this session onwards, the real subject starts, that is the application part of Laplace transform. Few of the applications are regarded to few of the functions here. Some of the functions you should, which you should be knowing for this Laplace transform in order to solve the problems related to this Laplace transform. Okay, that I'm going to start in this session. Okay, you can say that from this session onwards, the actual module starts. Okay. So our first function is step function. Okay. What is this step function is a step function has zero has zero values for all t less than zero and which ha while it has a value of a that is a, a is represented as the amplitude for all the values of t greater than zero. Okay. This is basically the definition of a step function. So graphically how it is represented that is that it has zero values for all t less than zero. Right. So this is the graph of t here. It, it is clearly mentioned that it, it is 0 for all the values of t less than 0. That is from 0 for t less than 0. That is negative part. The value is always 0. Okay. That is in the 0th line you can see here. And it has a value of a amplitude for all t greater than 0. You can mark one amplitude here. Okay. From that you can see that from 0th point it moves. It touches to this point a and it, it is constant for all the t greater than or equal to zero okay it is a straight line so this is basically a step function mathematically you can say that f of t is zero when t less than zero and it is a when t is greater than or equal to zero okay so this is the step function okay hope it is clear so consider any circuit now uh, supply and we have one switch here and it is connected to one circuit okay so when switch is open we know that uh, no current is flowing through so it is equal to zero okay so when switch is open for all the negative value it is zero and when switch is closed we can say that it is always equal to a equal to one okay so in the this is generally it is illustrated this unit step function uh, step function next let us see one more concept in this step function that is unit step function okay nothing much change is there in the general definition of step function what we had in play uh, it is z it is zero for all values of t less than zero and it is equal to a when uh, t is greater than or equal to zero in this unit step function the word itself suggests that it is a unit step function unit means you can say that one step function okay that is the value of a here is equal to one it, and that's only one change the value of a is equal to 1 and it, its amplitude would be equal to 1 and for that all the values of 1 it is constant okay this is basically the unit step function one difference between step and unit step I have told you okay in step function the value is equal to a that a can be anything of your choice any constant value but in this unit step function it is always the value of a is equal to 1 okay so you can see the definition whenever the magnitude of step function or the amplitude of step function is unity unity means when it is equal to one then it is called as the unit step function uh, mathematically you can say that f of t is equal to u of t unit step function is represented as u of t okay and it is equal to one for all the values of t greater than or equal to zero and it is zero for all the values of t less than zero you can see this graph here for values of t less than zero it is zero and for the value of t greater than or equal to 0, it starts from this 0th point only and it, the value of this amplitude is equal to 1. Okay, this is basically the graph of unit step function. So one more we have shifted unit step function. Okay, or it is also called as a delayed function. So what is this shifted unit step function or delayed function you can see here. That is uh, unit step function you know the definition right. The amplitude would be strictly equal to 1. But it is also called as delayed function that is it uh, the value of uh, uh, f of u of t is 0 for t less than 0 for t less than 0 but if it if it the value of t is u of t minus a okay why because it is shifted so that's why we can say that from the from t equal to 1 the value of t would be equal to 0 that is in this case it is for t less than 1 it is 0 
and for t greater than or equal to 1 it is uh, 1 okay so that's how you can say that u of t minus a okay this is called a shifted unit step function okay in case of negative amplitude we can say that in negative amplitude step function is written as f of t is equal to minus a that is for uh, f of t for t less than 0 it is 0 and for if it is minus a that is the value of uh, would be negatively downwards okay so in this way the negative amplitude negative shifted unit step function is represented okay hope this is clear these some of the terms of uh, re related to step function you need to be knowing it because uh, the problems you need to be solving uh, would be of this kind only that i'm going to explain it now how to solve let us see the some of the problems now so this is one problem here with one problem i'm going to illustrate you how to solve these kind of problems related to step function okay so this is a graph they have given it here express the waveform shown below in the figure in terms of step functions okay so how to express this in terms of step function is if you observe this very carefully okay this graph consists of all the terms one is uh, step function uh, delayed step function negative delay all of them it is combined in one single and they have given it okay with the different values of here the value of amplitude they have given it as 3 okay and here the values are from 0 1 2 and you can say that this is 3 okay yeah so how to represent it we should be uh, splitting this circuit okay that is you should be breaking this circuit into many parts that is first you should be saying that from the given waveform the first thing you can observe is this part okay observe uh, my pen where i'm drawing the line this part okay that is one uh, step function you can say that single step function you first write it separately in one separate graph I uh, name it as f1 of t f1 of t is equal to here the amplitude is 3 from 0 it uh, to uh, 0 to 1 it is 0 and from 1 the amplitude will be increasing to uh, 3 and then it is constant okay this is one single step okay so one more is next from 3 it moves down to 0 right from 3 it again it moves down to 0 from where from 1 sorry from uh, 3 it is constant it goes straight and when it reaches 2 it comes down to 0 and then it is again constant okay so how to represent this if you see here carefully from 3 right from 3 it is coming down to 0 right that is it is negative uh, negative slope right negative step so from 3 it is coming to 0 means you can say that if you 3 plus dash is equal to 0 okay what you should be this what this number what should be here in order to make this answer equal to 0 it is minus 3 right if 3 plus of minus 3 then it is equal to 0 because from 3 it is coming to 0 so what I am doing is from f2 of t I am drawing one graph here and marking all of them 0 to t and from 1 to 2 it is constant so that from 1 to 2 from 0 point only i'm drawing one line like this okay from 1 to 2 then from 2 i'm drawing one minus 3 amplitude because we know that i've seen i've told you uh, from 3 to 0 if you want to bend down what is the value you should be applying minus 3 so that's why from 2 onwards it comes down up to minus 3 or uh, 3 times uh, down so that's why from 2 to minus 3 i'm drawing one uh, straight line and then it is constant okay then it is constant okay up to 3 so like this uh, this uh, one graph is split into these two graphs and we should be writing the equation for that that is first is f of t is this is the delayed step right how would delayed step is represented as u of t minus a right a u of t minus a so in this case the value of this amplitude is equal to 3 and t minus a that is in which point it is uh, getting splitted that is at from point 1 so 3 u of t minus 1 that is equal to f1 of t similarly here f2 of t is in place in this case the value of amplitude is minus 3 into u of and from which point it is getting splitted that is uh, it is getting diverged from point 2 from point 2 it is coming down so minus 3 u of t minus 2 so therefore the given function is the addition of the given function is the addition of these two graphs that is if we add these two graphs the resultant graph would be up, up, appeared like this so that's why what you should be doing you should be adding f1 of t 
and f2 of t that is f of t is equal to f1 of t plus f2 of t whatever answer we have got it here that you write it here that is f of t is equal to 3 u of t minus 1 minus 3 u of t minus 2 so this would be our final answer and they have told you to express the waveform in the figure in terms of step function that we have represented it okay like this you should be solving uh, some of the problems here like this okay hope this is clear this is one simple example problem just to make you clear about the concept of step function okay how to solve it how to analyze the graph and how to represent in terms of step function you should be knowing okay so yeah that's all for this session guys uh, like share subscribe to our channel in the next session we are going to deal with one more kind of function that is ramp function this is a bit complicated but you will understand it uh, i believe you because you guys are uh, uh, very intelligent so yeah that's all for this session guys like share subscribe to our channel do support us and share this playlist to a huge number okay thank you